so this is the rope and this will be the bead all of you bead you know this will be this will be bead and what is the length this part is l now what are the forces so i'll i'll, I'll give one more better diagram so that will be the forces that are acting yeah i'll show it here only. the bead will be in contact with the rope so th this this diagram is what very important once you get this diagram rest all the equations this is a rope hmm. now uh, what is the weight uh, between the bead uh, friction force so mg is the weight of the bead no that, that you show it so let this be m this is the weight of the bead then because of weight what happen the bead will slide down no how the friction the friction will act on the bead because it will move down the it will move down so the friction on the bead should be in this direction and tell me okay, uh, by the by the bead on the rope by the bead on the rope should be in this direction if you can get this diagram i think rest all you can manage so what is this f you, you can see th there is a rope no there is a rope and there is a bead two frictions i'm showing one friction by the rope on the bead by the by the bead on the rope and uh, now you can ask questions so where is the normal contact here the things are a little bit different how tightly the bead is fixed to that based on that the friction will come here okay now based on that what are the forces you should show here A mg this will be the mg uh, mg by 4 no okay no no it's mg only the weight of the bead is mg so the weight of this block is mg then friction on the bead i'll, I'll show like this here the friction there the friction friction on the rope shall i shall i put directly like this is understood this friction what will do it will set up a tension so nothing but so what is the tension the rope is nothing but the friction so here you can just write f only not friction it is the tension if i write t and f you'll get confused here the same what friction is acting because this friction is what some sort of like a pull force no at one end of the rope and the the weight mg is acting at other other at, at this particular point so together a pull force is needed <coughs> so this will be how much this will be again equal to f 2f so let the acceleration of this block be a1 that of the bead let it be a2 okay what is this friction value friction value is equal to how much f equal to mg by 4 hmm. let's write the equations of motion 2 mg for the block 2 mg minus 2 f equal to m a1 now what is the frictional force mg by 4 equal to ma1 so this will be 3 mg by 4 equal to ma1 acceleration equal to 3g by 4 this is acceleration of the block okay got this one sir it is mg minus 2 
Massive them, MG. Huh? I'll, I'll, I'll make changes then. Huh? Uh, this will be MG by two. Acceleration will become G by two. Okay, thank you. Yeah, acceleration of block. Uh, similarly, I want acceleration of bead. What is the expression for acceleration of bead? MG minus F is equal to MA two. What is the frictional force acting between the string and the bead? MG by four. So therefore, acceleration of the bead is equal to how much? 3G by 4. So this is what? Acceleration of bead. Uh, now, now let's do one thing. Acceleration of the block is A1. What will be the acceleration of a point on a string? If this moves by one meter, a constant equation, if this moves by one meter, here one meter, one meter length should increase. So how much the point P on a rope should move? Two meter. All of you getting the constant equation. If the midpoint of the pulley moves down by one meter, the block will, this block M will move by one meter. No? Here one meter, one meter length will increase. This one meter, one meter, two meter length from where it should increase here. Should, should decrease here only so therefore how the point p on a rope will move will move upward no so bead you don't bother bead bead will just slide down now we are discussing the motion of the block and the rope sir how how there is nobody is there how the rope will be taught the friction the friction will be pulling at this end and that friction will set up a tension here Okay, got this. So now uh, this particular, like a block moves by one meter. Let's assume here the pulley will move by one meter. Here one meter, one meter will increase. Two meter has increased. From where it should decrease, it should decrease here. So therefore, how point P will move? Point P will move upward. What is the acceleration of point P now? Acceleration of point P should be two times of A1. What is A1? 2G by 2. This is G. In what direction? Upward. Then acceleration of the bead in what direction? Downward. So what is the time taken by the bead to cross the rope or lose contact with the string? So finally, when the bead reaches point P, how much of time it will take here? So shall I go for L is equal to A relative T square by 2. What is A relative? Acceleration of the bead. equal to this one. So what is the acceleration of the bead? 3G by 4 minus of minus G. So this should be equal to how much? Uh, 7G T square by 8L. So 8 it should be. So what is the final? T is equal to 8L by 7G. This should be our answer. Any doubt, anybody? Sir, why isn't there like tension acting on uh, by the block M, sir? Tension acting on? Sir, tension like the block M will support uh, by giving tension to the rope. No, sir. Oh, okay, fine. Then why aren't we considering? No, that tension is only a friction. No, so why do that one? This mg will act here. This, this, the friction at this end of the rope at point P will act here. So both these are pull forces. Okay, that one. So what force I'll pull at this point? That will be the tension. No. So here, what is the pull force here? F, the friction only. So friction. So the friction only will become tension. Here F and F will be 2T. So if you want to write here T, that one, 2T. And what is T equal to F? If I show T and F, you'll get confused. That's why everywhere I'm showing F here. Okay. The tension the string is nothing but here, friction here. So I'll, I'll write it clearly here now, the instruction. Sir. Hmm. Okay, now, yeah. Sir, once, my acceleration of point A is G, sir. Constant equation. <laughs> Constant equation. 
Very uh, much. I am moves by length L, then he will move by L by two, right? No, no, no. If this, if block moves by one meter, one meter, one meter will increase here, no? Okay, sir. Then, then two, this will move two sorry. meters. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay, come for next one. Uh, friction with the groove. Hmm? 